So we'll start with Carlos Pereira. He's the CEO of Livux, and he joins us from Brazil to share an impact story about how his company is using artificial intelligence to give voice to people with disabilities thanks to their alternative communications app. Welcome, and thank you for joining us. Hello, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to uh, thank the opportunity for being here talking uh, in the WCA. I had the opportunity to be there in 2015, um, and um, it was an amazing experience. Well, uh, my name is Carlos Pereira. I'm the CEO of Livox, uh, and my company started in, in 13 years ago when my daughter Clara was born. When she was born, uh, due to a medical mistake, um, she got cerebral palsy, so she can't walk and she can't speak. So since from the moment I found out about my daughter's uh, situation, and part of people's disabilities became a passion for me. And out of this passion, I created a solution called Livox that enables people like my daughter to communicate. Um, and uh, it's a quite unique software, uh, and it was the first one in Portuguese uh, as well. And I remember back in 2015, we were mainly in Brazil, and uh, I applied for the WCA in Abu Dhabi, and I was selected to be there. And it was very interesting because uh, I sincerely, I wasn't expecting to uh, be one of the winners, but we've been selected as one of the winners. And uh, one thing that it was very interesting after that is that um, I remember after the, the award ceremony, a guy came to me, he looked like a sheikh, you know, uh, and uh, he said to me, uh, you know what, I represent a company that distributes uh, educational solutions for uh, the Arab world, uh, the Middle East, and I'm interested in distributing your solution. Would you be interested? Uh, and I said, yes. Uh, he shaked my hand and he said, OK, the deal is done. You shaked my hand and now give me your passport. You're going to Saudi Arabia. So I've been to Saudi Arabia. Uh, um, a couple of times uh, and they helped us to translate our software into Arabic and thanks to the, the, the exposure that we had in WCA in, during the WCA uh, I remember that we were only in Brazil and at that time but now we are present in 10 countries and this partnership that we um, got through WSA helped us to put Livox in Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, um, Qatar and also Sudan and Egypt. So these countries, I don't speak a single word in Arabic. So uh, these countries I would never be able to go to uh, without the help of WCA. And also this was just the beginning of our international um, you know, um, work. And now we are present, as I said to you guys, in 10 countries um, and uh, our software grown so much. We got an a, a investment from Google. Uh, we started to work with the MIT. We also got an award uh, from the Inter-American Development Bank. That's where I met Carlos Abler, who is here with us, uh, and I had the opportunity to go to 3M. So uh, in, in when I when I look back, it's very interesting because I remember how all this started, and um, and that's why I have a lot of you know affection for the WCA because it helped helped me to put my company front and center um, in in so many opportunities. So uh, yeah, basically this is it. Now we work with many different uh, countries. We deploy our solutions to schools. Um, and as of right now, I live here in, in the United States, but we have our company in Brazil and also in many different locations providing solutions for people with disabilities so they can be able to speak and also to receive proper education. And we did an amazing job, especially during the pandemic now, where kids with disabilities were suffering so much because they were not able to go to school. But through our solution, they were able to receive proper education in many different places. So basically, this is it. I would like to thank the opportunity. I wish uh, that I could be uh, with you guys, but maybe in another opportunity. Thank you.